Thank you for watching this video featuring Syncopation Software's latest release, DPL9. In this video, I'll show you how quickly and easily I can build a decision tree, link it to an Excel cash flow spreadsheet, and generate actionable results for a commercial strategy case in the pharmaceutical industry. For this particular case, we need to help the Neuroscience Division decide whether to invest in lifecycle management for Neuroprisa, a reliable product or partner with another company, SBP, to co-promote their potential blockbuster drug. We'll need to carefully consider the effectiveness and timing of SBP's new product, along with the timing of potential second and third generation competitors. Here I have the decision tree pane of the DPL9 modeling window maximized, as I have indicated I want to build the model in a decision tree focused mode. I'll first add the decision to continue with lifecycle management for Neuroprisa, or co-promote SBP's drug. I enter flag values of 1 and 2 for the alternatives. Next we'll add several uncertain events, the first of which is for SBP's launch year. There are four outcomes, early, base, late, and never. Each have a probability assigned to it. For values, I'll enter the years 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2099. The next event is the availability of a second generation competitor. There are two outcomes for this event, each with a 50% chance of occurring. I'll enter flag values of 1 for yes and 0 for no. And now for the timing of the second generation product launch. I'll rename the outcomes to be early, base, and late, leave the default probabilities, and enter years 2021 through 2023. Next is the availability of a third generation competitor. As with the second generation, there is a 50% chance of availability. We know that a three year outcome study is to be released on the second generation products. We'll name the outcomes worse, base, and better. We'll keep the default probabilities and enter flag values of 1, 2, and 3. The next event is known before the study is to be released, but I can easily place it here before the study event in the tree. This last event represents the timing of the third generation of products. Again, I'll enter early, base, and late, leave the default probabilities, and enter years 2023 through 2025. It will take me just a few clicks to link each of the events in my tree to a particular range in the spreadsheet via the new link events feature. In the cell drop-down list, all the Excel ranges suitable for linking to DPL events are listed alphabetically by sheet name, exclamation point, range name. Finally, I will define and link the output metric for the model by selecting the branches of the last event in the tree and using the Get Pay drop-down box on the ribbon. We haven't added this variable to the model yet, so I'll choose to create a new linked metric. We want DPL to maximize NPV for this decision. On the Model tab, let's choose our outputs and run a decision analysis on the model. The policy tree generated shows that the optimal strategy is to proceed with the co-promotion deal with SBP. If we look at the risk profiles for each alternative, we can see that the co-promote alternative clearly has more downside risk than the Neuroprisa lifecycle management alternative. Investing in Neuroprisa lifecycle management is not the recommended action but it is more of a sure bet. Thank you for watching this DPL9 demonstration video. DPL9 will be ready for beta testing soon. If you're interested, please visit our website at www.syncopation.com.